What's going on, fellas? It's your boy Alex, and I'm back. I'm back. It's like, nah, I was only gone for one day. I'm talking like I was gone for a long time. But y'all know I like to drop them videos every day. I got that sauce. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Today, we're talking about semen retention again. Because I need you young boys to get rid of the power of the pee. You guys have to understand, the vagina only has as much power as you are thirsty. I repeat, the vagina only has as much power as you are thirsty. But I want y'all to ask yourselves a question y'all probably never asked ourselves before, which is, why is the vagina so powerful? What does it actually do? Now, we know when you have intercourse with a woman, it opens up the gateways for a soul to come down and deliver its contract and be born onto this planet. But what is really so special, besides the pleasure, what's so special about the vagina? Let me word it to y'all this way. What makes the vagina more important than your seed? Why do you think that? See, we got here women, they run around all day, well, we have babies. We bring the babies into the world. You couldn't have babies without us, but that's a lie. At the end of the day, you couldn't have babies without us. At the end of the day, the womb, as important as the womb is, the womb is just soil. I need y'all to understand that. The womb is like a test tube. The womb is like an incubator. The womb is nothing without the seed. I repeat, the womb is nothing without the seed. It's just like grass. It's like fertilizer. It's like dirt. If you don't put no seed in it, if you don't water that thing, it does nothing. And let me tell y'all something a little bit deeper. Because y'all know I like to go deep. Women love our seed because our seed is life. It's life running through your ball sack every day, guys. Y'all just be jerking off. Y'all just be throwing it on tissues, flushing it down the toilet, throwing it in the sink. That's life. That's life stream. That's life force. You guys got to understand. Let, let me go even further to y'all. Y'all ever realize that every time they make a soul, right? Every time they sew y'all the form of a soul, it's always all white. It has like a big head and like a little tail at the body. You know what else? It's all white. It has like a big head and a tail at the body. If you guessed semen, you guessed right. Semen. Semen look like souls. So I ain't going to go no deeper than that. I'm going to leave the rest of it alone because I don't want to go too far for y'all. But I'm just saying, you guys got to understand. The womb, women are dead before men come to them. Women are dead before we come to them, guys. Really think about it. When you have intercourse with a woman, right? Really think about that. How is she after she had intercourse? How many times have y'all seen women go to work and they like, oh, girl, you glowing today. You look real good. You got a whole bunch of energy. What, you got you some? I know y'all heard that before. That's the power of your seed. See, you, let's say she on birth control. You ejaculate inside of a girl. Y'all ever notice they don't clean that out? They don't even try to get it out. If it leak out, they try to catch it. <laughs> if you think about it, if they give you a bit, they slurping you up. They swallow it. They swallow it. They swish it around their mouths. They rub it all in their face. Oh, it's good for your skin. I, listen, if you've been around, you know, you already know. Girls love when you on their face. Why do they love it so much? Because it's life force, guys. Because it's energy. Your power is in that seed. If you're a real man, if you're a thorough man, you really got that sauce, you're a producer, you work three, four jobs, you got your own business, all that energy is in your seed. All of that energy is in your seed. See, we, like I said, we talk about women birth the babies. Women are incubators. They're basically the test tube. But the life is in you. The soul swim in you. Everyone who's contracted to come down here comes down here through you. You open that gateway at the end of the day. She just delivers. Now, that's not me really trying to downsize the womb or trying to play the womb, but it is me empowering our seed. See, we grew up our whole life thinking our D don't mean nothing. A lot of you dudes are just street meat. <laughs> that's what the girls like to call y'all. Y'all street meat. You give your seed to anybody. You nut in anybody. It doesn't even matter to you. You know, butt fat. I'm going to just give it up. <laughs> your teeth crooked, I'm going to just give it up. Some of these single mothers I've been seeing out here, ridiculous, man. You guys got to understand, your seed is the most important thing. It's the most important thing. You're not going to get the ultimate money without your seed. You're not going to get as strong as you can without your seed. Your skin not going to be as clear as it can be without your seed. And at the end of the day, there's no life on this planet without your seed. And that's why you need to retain it. Retain it. So that way you're not thirsty, so that way you're not street meat, that way you're not just running around here throwing your seed everywhere, catching STDs, getting a bunch of ratchet ass baby moms or anything else. Instead, you're taking that money, you get what I'm saying? You're taking that sexual energy, instead of just giving it to these females, you're hitting the gym with it. Instead of giving it to these females, you're putting it into your purpose. Instead of giving it to these females, you out here writing novels and reading books and creating stage plays. That's the real power. They want y'all to think that the power is in sex. You guys got to realize that every man understood the power of semen retention and going through it so that you're not a sexual predator so that you're not a sex addict if every man did that women would have no power 
Because what are the most of them doing, guys? Women are getting taken care of. They're living their whole life off of, I'll give you sex whenever you want it. And you're doing more for them than you. Because at the end of the day, like I said, she's going to get the clear skin. She's going to get the energy. She's going to get your sauce. You're not getting nothing but a nut. You're not getting nothing but a nut. That's the only way they can be controlled. I tell y'all all the time, go on semen tension just so you cannot be controlled by your lust. A man who can't be controlled by his lust is uncontrollable by women. I repeat, a man who cannot be controlled by his lust is uncontrollable by women. You guys don't even understand. Some women will submit to you solely because they cannot control you sexually. They're like, what type of dude is this? What does he got going on? I can't even distract him. I come by my, uh, my biker shorts. I come by butt naked, whatever. He ain't even looking at me. They want to know what's up with you because they want that sauce. They want to be a part of that. I'll leave y'all with this. How many times have y'all heard women say, men are so confident, men are so strong, men don't care what no one think, I wish that I could be like that. How many times have y'all heard me tell y'all, women are high-minded, they're going to always do what the program is, they're going to always follow, they're not strong enough to go against the program. Well, you know where you get that strength, that leader strength, that I'm not going to do what everybody wants me to do, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do, that real man, that masculinity, it comes from your seed. It comes from all that life swimming in you all day. That's where it comes from. That's what they want. That's why they say, I want your confidence. I want to feed off your confidence. That's why they rub it all on their face. That's why they swallow it. They let it incubate inside of them. Because that's your confidence. That's your pride. That's your masculinity. That's it. That's it. So again, like I said, I'm not trying to downplay the womb, but understand, like I said, the womb until your seed touches it is nothing but unfertilized, unfertilized soil. So we're going to give all the respect in the world to the womb as we should, because it, at the end of the day is the gateway which life is delivered. Then we need to give all praise to the penis and the semen as well, because at the end of the day, there is no life without us. The life swims in us. We put it in the womb. The womb delivers it to the world. So they're equally important. So we need to treat our seed even more important. Now, look, right now, women is treating their wombs like whatever. They just going out here having sex with anybody whoever who they don't even care okay but that's not we don't match their energy we the trendsetters we the leaders we don't match their energy we do what we do and what we doing is we getting that perversion up out of here so we can make smart logical decisions so we don't have ratchet ass baby mamas so we not on child support so we not divorced out here slinging red pills at 30 years old that's the type of time we on you know what i'm saying so uh, respect your seed guys like there's just a lot of power in that zinc Spinal fluid. There's a lot of power in that. Respect y'all seed, man. Respect y'all seed. It's more powerful than the womb. I'm Malik, and I'm back, but I'm out right now. Peace.